and welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 3. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing. We, um, we came to this planet full of monks. Like, I've, honestly, the, the story's gone straight over my head. But, uh, we come to a planet full of monks, and we're ringing bells. And we're shooting people. That's that's about as much as I know about the situation. I'm gonna need some iridium to get into the anchor hold. It'll amp up my siren powers. On an extremely related note, how do you feel about grave robbing? Robbing a it. human grave is on my bucket list. Good. There's some iridium hidden in the cemetery. Something tells me Ava's already there. She'll help you out. I've never actually been inside the anchor hold. It's got iridium protections around it, but I think I can get around them. There's a passage in my book of ancient siren techniques. Gonna go grab it, since the library's unprotected, and I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Yeah, I honestly have no idea why we came to this planet. But... But we're here, and we're, we're making the most of it. Yeah, see, plenty of money, but uh, not a lot to do with it. You get to buy the weapon of the day every now and then, that's about it. Alright. I guess we go this way. Jeez, I'm coming, I'm coming here to try to recharge my health to fight a chupacabra. Chupacabra doesn't seem to be doing a lot. Good farmers and monks can now live without fear, for the Chupacabra is slain. Of course. drop for me a whole bunch of stuff that I can't use. Thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. I know one thing that um 
The one thing that is a bit of a gripe that I have with this game is that as you as you level up, you get stronger weapons, but the enemies also get stronger. So you never really you never actually really make any progress. Like you get a gun that deals more damage, and then you fight enemies that tank more damage. So it's you know it's like at the beginning of the game or the end of the game. You basically put the same amount of rounds into someone to kill them. But that's sort of, I mean, that's not a problem with Borderlands, that's a problem with... Well struck. RPGs. Sumo! My mate, how you going bud? Why should we get to Mayhem 10 or 11? I don't even know what Mayhem is. Mayhem 10. I get 10k more shield, HP and armor. Yep. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. You get better guns, but the enemies get stronger. So you never really, you never really get anywhere. You're kind of chasing your tail the whole time. But that's how it is in um, that's how it is in pretty much all RPGs like Skyrim and um, I'm oh, sorry, the Elder Scrolls and that sort of thing. Is you get stronger and they get stronger. Yeah. Ten thousand percent. I I don't really know what that means, but I assume it means. They're strong as all fuck. Cool if I take this. Thanks. Later. So they say boss has a hundred k times ten thousand percent. I'm not real good at maths, but that's something with a lot of zeros. It'll be 10,000% 10, more than 100k. Right. So, uh, so basically just a total bullet sponge. Which is probably the least fun mechanic. I don't know. I'd sort of prefer if games increase the volume of enemies rather than just the strength of the enemies. But um, then you run into hardware problems, so it, that doesn't quite work. Oh, hey! I was just out here looting corpses. But wait, you're a vault hunter like Maya used to be? Go on adventures, save the universe, kill bad guys? There is more to it than that. But not much more. Yes! That's so freaking cool, I want to die instantly. I'm going to be a vault hunter too. Or I would be if Maya assigned me more than just guarding a dusty ass library and staring at water for like a hundred hours. Sorry, just really boring around here. So, we're gonna loot this graveyard or what? What you got, game? Yeah, let's loot the graveyard. Nothing, bitch! You got nothing! Come on. There's a lot of um. Oh crap! Attention, everyone! This is Captain Tronch! Those monks are in that spooky graveyard! What There's a lot of female proud? characters Make in this. Then we'll go Not that I have a problem with it, it's just an observation. There's like an enormous amount. I don't, almost feel like there's more female characters than male characters. Which again, isn't a problem, just an observation. Maybe I should say it's uh, I don't know. What do they call it when something's a pleasant change? No sweat. Open that tomb up, over. You got nothing. Maya says the monks put iridium in tombs, so the dead have some spending money in the afterlife. We'll 
we'll pay him back later. Like, if we're not all. Huh, empty. Weak. But I know a few more places we can try. It's time to fight! <laughs> Me. I'm moving in! Nice guy, man. Had a good one. <laughs> Level 13, is there anything... Anything I can use? Uh, okay, that, that does leave a couple of to comparing. Uh, this is all garbage. Let's do this thing! Get shot here! Dead! Why are you statue polishers fighting back? Anyway, I mean, I, I thought you were supposed to be all zen and shit. Stop this rebellion immediately, or I'll reduce your tranquil meditation planet to rubble. <laughs> Be back with the snipers. I got this one. Ah, oh, it's sticky. Why? Why is it sticky? Oh, monks are so weird. Scratch! I hate scratch. Scratches. Looks like they ate the iridium. Maya's gonna need way more than that. Got some more skills. Then we, we go. Get that fragment. Man, I've been dying to get Increase fire rate. Right. Ever since I got here. Something about You're locked happy doors, man. Increase fire rate. Right. Wasting a, I keep wasting the fade away on reloading. I gotta make sure I'm reloaded before I use it.
Alright. This has been a thrilling endeavor. I am done playing games, monks! Get ready for some divine judgment from me! Prompt! Maya wants to have all the fun fighting off Malawan, but screw that! That twin guy is the worst and I feel like they have fun at least. Myself. Sounds like the voice actors are having fun. Even if it's in a direction that I don't particularly care for, it's something. Ava, go protect the grain storerooms. Let the Vault Hunter take care of Malawan. Ugh, got it, Maya. On my way. All I ever do is protect archives or storerooms or sacred whatevers. I'll see you later, Vault Hunter. Huh, Ava really took a shine to you. Might want to check your pockets. She was a stowaway on one of our seasonal merchant ships. We crossed paths. She tried to steal my book, and instead of throwing her off a cliff, I decided to train her as my apprentice. I've got my book and heading your way in a sec. I'm just finishing up some- Die, you corporate bastards! Some more people to shoot. Ancient relaxation exercises. Much better. He loads like two magazines into this thing. There's like one magazine, two magazines, then like a third little thing to top it off. There's no shortage of ammo around the map. Like, it's not really a problem running out of ammo, it's just, um... Having to constantly loot dead. is a bit of a pain in the ass. Fade away. Yeah, it's pretty decent. If you're using a if you're using a weapon that does a higher damage per bullet, fade away. Uh, fade away definitely works well. Beast. Time to kill. 
to count. It's been a long mission. Down. I don't know if it's actually been, oh no, it's been a few different missions. Here we go, finally. You've got enemies and I've got ammo. Everyone has their prize. So I got 16 grand. There's nothing to buy. Have a look at the uh Yeah, there's no there's no decent shops or anything. There's just vending machines. All they have is like a random weapon. Here we go, something's gonna happen. It's Tront! That's Tront. Hit him with the fade away. That didn't do anything. is an absolute tank. Huge amount of health. Enemy 
out of ammo. I feel like these homing bullets they just do enormous amounts of damage. And I'm dead. I'm pretty sure that means his health is going to come back, right? So he gets all his health back, and I don't have any ammo. That's not exciting. And we're back. So you found me some loot? Oh no, when you respawn you get your ammo back. That's cool. Try that again. Let the hunt take you! They'll never see you. It's really hard to find cover because he's he's got these He's got these projectiles that just fly around the whole map. And you can't um you can't find cover. Just as I require. Because it um follows you around corners and stuff. Nothing. I think I've got him there. Captain Trant. There he goes. Oh, and he's dropped a sniper for me. How's the, how's the sniper go? Uh, worst damage. Better fire rate. Better magazine size. That's what matters. But yeah, seriously the worst. You got the iridium? Give it I here. I kinda like the look of it. Yeah. 
does this thing go? Oops. Uh, better damage. Better damage. Fire rates. Near identical. But the magazine size is a lot less. It's not too bad. What about how do these things how do these compare? Yeah, it's better in all aspects other than fire rate. How's this thing feel? I like it. I think I'll go with this thing. Worst damage. 10 less damage. Yeah. I don't know if that's worth it. It's got um, almost double the magazine size. And... Almost, I mean, nearly sort of double the fire rate. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with. Uh, I think we're going to stick with this thing. Oh, there's a, a star. What's that? Oh, another gold weapon. I haven't got too many of them. Where is it? This thing. All right, much better damage. So, double the damage, half the fire rate. Way better reload time, but awful magazine size. Yeah, I like this thing. I think I'm going to stick with it. Um, twice the damage, half the fire rate. That just means the ammo is going to last twice as long. So I'm stoked about that. All right, chat. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks a heap for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.